your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Saturday evening, everybody. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with your nightly climate report, taking a look at some of the information from around the Mid-South area. A brief update here for you to see what's going on. Managing to see a pretty big swing upwards on the Mississippi River over the course of the next couple of days, heading up to around 15 feet plus, and also seeing again the potential for a little bit of a leveling off after that into the next few days. More information on these almanac figures, please go to our website, wrag.com slash weather. Temperatures today, we managed to make it back to about the mid-90s, a little bit above normal, way above normal for low temperatures this morning, and we came within about 6 degrees of a record high last set back in 1969 of 101 degrees record low. That'd be nice, 56 in 1947. Sunrise this morning and tomorrow will be about the same time, about 5.53 for sunrise, 8.16 sunset this evening and into tomorrow, 14 hours plus of daylight. 14 hours, 23 minutes to be exact. Moon will not set tomorrow. It will set tonight. 27% of full waxing crescent. Rose this morning at 11.08. Sets tonight at 11.46. And rises tomorrow afternoon at about 12.03 p.m. A lot of clouds out there, so it's kind of difficult to see a lot of what goes on there. Earthquakes in the Mid-South courtesy of the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information showing no earthquakes around the Mid-South area on the New Madrid Fault. We had a couple of fairly large ones, a 3.0 about a week or so ago just around Carothersville, Missouri in the boot heel. But as of right now, today, nothing to report. More earthquake information available at earthquakes.usgs.gov and also available through the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. That's through the University of Memphis at memphis.edu. Quick check of some of the temperatures into tonight. It's going to be a mild one out there to say the least. Into eastern Arkansas, lower to mid 70s, heading into around portions of northern areas of Mississippi. From northeast Mississippi down through around the Delta, temperatures mainly back into the mid 70s for this evening. And for the metro area, that's going to be the warm spot across much of the Mid-South with temperatures not even breaking out of the mid to upper 70s, lower 70s across much of the rest of West Tennessee. Got any pictures out there, weather events, things like that, please let me know about it so we can pass those along to you on our webcast and on our weathercast online, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Aonic no underscore WREG3 on Instagram, and Austinonic WREG on Facebook. Stay tuned for more. We'll have a complete update of your entire forecast weather on your schedule coming up a little bit later on all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather for more information there on our video weather blog exclusive video weather blog i may add weather overtime that's again available wreg.com slash weather and on many other social media networks out there and if you're going to be up early in the morning heading out the door or maybe getting back late from someplace Please join us bright and early for an update on your complete forecast. That will be coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak that starts at 6 a.m. Sunday morning. And then stay tuned for CBS News Sunday morning. That will be coming up right afterwards at 8 o'clock. And then, of course, we'll have more for you coming up throughout the rest of the day at wrag.com slash weather. And also, again, on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. Pretty quiet but hot and steamy weekend. Again, an update coming up on News Channel 3 at 10 tonight. And also on News Channel 3 Daybreak into tomorrow. And also don't forget about weather over time our exclusive video online weather blog and that's going to be available at wreg.com slash weather. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your nightly climate report. Thanks for joining me.